Hello, I'm Scott Grinke. I'm the Polisher Business Unit Manager and New Product Development Manager for Intrepix. And today I'd like to show you some of the upgrades that we've come up with in the last few years. Um, to start off with, I'd like to show you our UPA components. Um, our components are direct replacements for the OEM. They do fit in the existing uh, horseshoe assembly uh, on, the, on all the manifolds. Uh, we have your uh, horseshoe burker valves are all available. We have our upgraded transducer assembly here. It does fit again in the, uh, the manifold assembly there. It is used with both the profiler and the Titan. This is uh, the regulator, again, used with the profiler and Titan. Uh, all of our upgrades come with uh, clean room instructions for installation and setup. This is the PCB card, again, both backwards and forwards compatible. It allows you to run four zones or three zones, depending on which uh, configuration you need. Uh, the next upgrade I'd like to show you is our wafer sensor uh, upgrade, our wafer slip sensor upgrade. Uh, this, this version here is our reflective type sensor. Uh, it does come with an eight inch bracket. This, this keeps the slip sensor eight inches higher above the process area, reducing the amount of uh, process debris and water that could get on the sensor, um, making ease of uh, operation and cleanliness and reducing your uh, false slip senses. This, this version here is our alternate substrate wafer slip sensor. This is used for uh, situations where the wafer reflectivity is similar to the, to the platen uh, pad reflectivity, where this one has difficulty uh, distinguishing the difference between the two. This sensor here uses a red, green, blue technology that allows it to recognize the colors. Um, it can be programmed to recognize more than one substrate uh, along with the slurry or whatever chemical you're running on the, the process at that time. It will distinguish the difference between the platen and the wafer slip. Here we're uh, showing a few of our PCBs that we offer. Of course, we have the dual wafer slip sensor PCB. We have the internal robot arm PCB. We have the robot home and limit sensors. And the lower neutronics card. Um, on our, all of our cards, we update the components so that they are uh, compatible for the next uh, 10 years or greater to give you longer life. Uh, we also offer conformal coating on any of the PCBs uh, for a, a small additional charge. Uh, the platen here is, is a part of our refurbishment program. We, we can uh, super finish the platens for you and then Teflon coating is applied to them. This makes the removal and application of pads much easier and clean up. It's very easy to clean up uh, from the, the Teflon because this slurry won't stick to it. In addition to the platen, we also have the uh, pad conditioner, Teflon coating available. As you can see here is a, a demonstration of a couple parts that have been Teflon coated. Um, as you can imagine, having uh, Teflon coating makes the, the slurry cleanup much easier. Um, we also offer it on the, the bottom of the arm and on the head. You can, you can send in your uh, pack conditioner pieces to us and we can apply the Teflon coating for you. Or we can arrange an exchange where you send in your core piece and we send you ours immediately, reducing your downtime. Um, it's for pad conditioners, we, all, we offer a quarterly PM service. Um, at the time that the pad conditioner comes in, we do an incoming inspection on your, on your pad conditioner core. Uh, we will take photos of it and videos of it running, and we'll provide that to you. Um, we will disassemble your pad conditioner, and we will inspect any parts for damage. Um, we will let you know if we find any machine parts that are in need of replacement at that time and we'll offer you a la carte which parts you would like to replace uh, in addition to our normal PM parts. Um, we do offer a few upgrades on our pad conditioner. We have the clear top that you can see here. Uh, the clear top uh, re removes the nine screws that are normally on top and replaces it with easy uh, twist turn uh, fasteners on the bottom. Our pad conditioner arm does fit around the arm assembly uh, and it is watertight. Um, we have an, a flexure piece here. This is our proprietary design uh, for greater uh, reliability than the OEM. <clears throat> the next piece I'd like to show you is we have re redesigned, uh, re-engineered the profiler head from the ground up. Um, we do sell 
the profiler head built and we have all the individual parts with inside the assembly available um, in our stock. We do the same for our six inch Titan head. Again, we can sell you the entire head or the individual parts inside. Uh, we can rebuild yours. We have a head rebuild program as well. Um, here is a sample of some of the head rebuild fixtures we have. This allows you to rebuild. This one is for the profiler head. Everything you need to do that service on your own. This next upgrade is, is um, our wet robot driver upgrade assembly. Uh, this is a plug and play. This bracket will fit in the place of the original OEM bracket, allowing you to change all three drivers at the same time. Uh, the upgrade does include a power supply. And of course, you'll receive clean room installation instructions showing you the setup and how to install it. It is a fairly simple um, upgrade. The wiring only requires the removal of a jumper and using the existing cabling. <clears throat> The next section here is just a small sample of some of our cable management offerings. We have uh, E-Chains, this one is used for the X-Axis robot, as well as we, we, hold, we carry stock of all the flexible cables that are used in the X-Axis. Um, as you can see from the picture here, we have all of your E-Chain cables available, as well as the, uh, the E-Chain itself and it as a complete assembly. Um, if you'd like to upgrade to our waterfall design, we also have that available. Um, and then of course we have the internal uh, uh, ribbon cable that's used inside the wet robot. <clears throat> this is an example of a, a solid state hard drive and cloning service. This is a solid state SCSI drive. It's available in both the 50 pin and 68 pin uh, configuration. Uh, we can clone your hard, your hard drive to the solid state. Um, we can also do backups um, of your software. This here is the wet robot refurbishment service. We take in your wet robot core and we replace all the internal components. We replace all your moving pieces, your bearings, uh, your cabling, all of your motors, um, the lead screw. Um, we have uh, instructions here on the installation of some of those pieces. So as you can see the proper uh, cable management that goes along with the assembly as well as settings for your drivers. We have um, carbon fiber wet robot blades. We have it both in the standalone version as well as the dry uh, fabs version. Um, we do have the Mira Mesa version too, the longer version. Um, the, the biggest advantage with using carbon fiber is your static discharge is eliminated as well as uh, less uh, particle generation. Um, here is a sample of some of the, the covers that we carry. Of course, you've already seen the pad conditioner one. This is the uh, wet robot. This allows you to see within the assembly as it's moving up and down on the Z-axis to make sure that all your cabling and tubing uh, remains unpinched and undamaged. You can see right through. In addition to that one, we also do carry, of course, all the, the universal uh, cross covers. These are a few samples of our in-house laser cutting abilities. Um, you can see here that we laser cut and, and uh, supply stock the, the wafer, um, sorry, the blade gaskets for your robot. We have the HCLU pads. Um, here you see some other examples of some uh, parts used internal to heads. We actually have more than what's pictured here. And um, we're always looking for uh, custom laser cutting if you need anything special made. The next section here has to do with our HCL refurbishment program. Um, you send in your, your HCLU core, or you can go on our exchange program where you send us your core, and we send you out the, the refurbished one right away to minimize your downtime. You'll see here that we replace all these parts during the HCLU uh, refurbishment. And I just have here on the table just a few uh, parts that are replaced during that service. We do, of course, replace your sensor assembly, your, your, mist or your nozzles for your sprayers, you have the, uh, the shaft for the pedestal, the, the top, the lid, the cover, of course, all of your moving bearing parts, uh, your bellows. Um, in addition to HCLU parts, we have um, a pad, or I'm sorry, a, a slurry high pressure rinse arm here. This is our version. It is, it will plug and play into the existing tool. It is complete, everything you need for two slurry distributions.
This is the plumbing for the high, high pressure water. It connects to the HCLU and moves up and down with the um, with the, these uh, plumbing pieces here, the, the flexible lines for water and vacuum. <clears throat> On our manifold here, we've designed it in such the way that all these fittings are removable and replaceable with the newer fine threaded type. So you can intermix fine thread and coarse thread uh, fittings. <clears throat> the manufacturer of the valves has obsoleted the coarse uh, fitting version. So in order to provide you with a, you know, a 10 years of, of continuous operation, we made it that way so that you can, you can move on to the, the fine uh, when you need to. This is, just an, this is just an example of one of our services for our, our rotation, head rotation spindle. Uh, of course, we'll go through this assembly. We'll replace all your bearings. We'll inspect it, all the machine parts to make sure they're in good condition. We'll repack it with grease. Um, that's available now. Uh, this is an example of our head sweep motor and driver upgrade. Um, as you can see here, the, the bracket accommodates both the legacy and the new driver. So you can intermix. Um, we designed the motor to accept both the long shaft, motor shaft, and the, and the, and the short shaft versions. So they're replaceable within the assembly. Um, this should accommodate, so you won't need to know in advance which version you have. You can purchase this one and it'll accommodate both uh, possible solutions needed. And this is just a, a close-up picture of the new driver. Along with this upgrade, of course, you'll get your clean room instructions as well as labeling so you can relabel your assemblies so that they match the proper position to which they're placed. This is our uh, head rotation motor and driver upgrade. The upgrade does include a universal mounting bracket for your UPAs. This UPA allows you to use both Titan or Profiler uh, assemblies. It is adjustable for different size uh, rotary unions. It does mount to the top of the motor, just like the original OEM one. Our motor assembly is the same fit, form, function as the OEM. The connectors are the same, so you can use your existing cabling. You will not have to change any cabling from the tool. We've housed our driver in a replica of the OEM version so that it'll fit, form, and function the same when you're wiring it up. Um, we also made the wiring the same so you, you know how to disassemble and reassemble based on what was taken off. There is no setup or tuning of this motor and driver. It is truly plug and play. Um, some of the other uh, products that we have that are a little big in size are the DC power supply door. This is a power supply door that fits into any, any 5200 uh, electronics uh, cabinet which would include both Mira, Mira Mesa, uh, and Centura platforms. This is a, a brochure for our remote UPA. Uh, one unique thing about the Intrepix remote UPA is that it allows you to use your existing UPA components. You can reuse your, your driver or your regulators, your transducers, your Burker valves. They can all be remounted. The, the UPA will come with a new cabinet that mounts to the outside of the tool, the upper portion of the polisher. Um, you would not have to get inside the polish area to do UPA cows. There is quick connect, disconnect fittings that allow you to break into the connection to calibrate them without going into the process area again. Um, as part of the UPA upgrade, you'll get all new uh, waterfall cables and the waterfall bracketry to convert from an E-chain to the waterfall design. This is an example of all of our uh, PM and refurbishments that we offer. Uh, one that I didn't talk about was the hub, the cross hub refurbishment. We do, we, uh, we'll take your, your core, we'll remove the bearings, we'll repack them, clean, you know, clean the assembly, repack them, check your brakes, make sure that things are working properly. When we repack them, we will run it uh, overnight to break in the new, the new grease, and we'll make sure that the assembly is not pulling more than it should. This ensures that when you go to put it back in your tool, that it'll, it'll, it'll function properly the first time. Um, we do have head rebuild services available. Uh, we can rebuild your head w using our uh, aftermarket consumables or the OEM consumables. Um, so we can accommodate any head. Um, we do also have uh, calibration equipment available. We have the, the downforce uh, load cell fixtures as well as the load cells and the load cell uh, meter. 
We have the UPA, a pressure calibration equipment, as well as uh, the cross UPA uh, manifold. And we have a, a protector for your pad that will protect it during the removal and in, in installation of heads. I think that's it.